Hello and welcome to Charles University. We hope that you are going to enjoy your studies with us and that you will find them useful for your personal and professional development. This video is intended to help you with enrolling in the courses that we offer. To be able to do so, you need to be registered in our student information system and you must have an email that specifies your personal number that you will use as a login throughout your studies and your temporary password. If you have received an email like that, you are ready to go and you can follow the procedure that I will guide you through. If you haven't received an email like that, I suggest you con contact our international office and they will help you with your registration to the program. Enrolling to the courses will take place in three steps. First, you will need to reset your temporary password and replace it with your permanent password known only to you that you can use later to log in our applications. In the second step, I will recommend you to go through the list of courses that we offer, study their contents and make your choice about courses you would like to follow in the upcoming term. And finally, after having made your choice, you will need to register or enroll in these courses in our student information system. So let me guide you through these three steps. So let us start with replacing your temporary password with a permanent one. First, in your email inbox, find an email that you have received from us after registering to the student information system uh, that has a subject field that reads something like logging data into the information system of Charles University. In that email, you will find three pieces of information that are, you are going to further use. Your personal number, the initial password, and the website that you will use to replace your temporary password with a permanent one. So let me copy the address and let's place it in a browser. You will get to this website. If you are directed to the Czech version, you can change the language here at the upper uh, top right corner. The username and password are the two pieces of information that you will find in your email. If you already have your student card, the personal number will also be written below your picture. So these two numbers will be identical. So let me go back to this email and copy the login name and the temporary password. I place the login here, of course, and the password just below it. Now then you press login and you will follow the prompt that will ask you to verify your identity and then change the password to the permanent one. I cannot guide you through that part because obviously my personal login has already been uh, authenticated, uh, but the prompt should be kind of very self-explanatory and the most important output of this phase is your permanent personal password, so please make sure to note it down. All right, let us now go through the list of courses we offer in the program and choose which ones you are interested in taking in the upcoming term. For that, you will need to go to the website that shows the characteristics of the program. There are two ways of accessing the website. First, you can go to the website of the Faculty of Social Sciences and see the list of various programs here. Pick the program that you are interested in and then roll to the very bottom and use the last link Karolinka and click on it. The other possibility for the Master of Economics and Finance program is to simply use this link. So let me copy this link and paste it here in the browser. 
Now the first thing that is important to check is whether you are in the correct academic year, which you will see here in the left panel. So we start the academic year 2020-2021 uh, and we seem to be kind of this seems to be active and therefore we are in the right section of that website. The program structure doesn't change a lot over time, but it is always better to get to the most updated information. Now what you find here in the middle is basic information about the program, that is to say how many credits we require from the, compul from the compulsory courses, compulsory seminars, from the electives and from the optionals. And then, more importantly, you will find a list of all the compulsory courses and all the elective courses here at the bottom. So what you can do is to go through the list and see which courses you would like to you would like to follow. In doing that, it is important to keep one important thing in mind. We typically offer a course either in the fall term, which we refer to as the winter semester, or in the spring term, which we refer to as the summer semester. So if you have just started studying with us and the upcoming term will start in October, then it is the only the courses that have the WS abbreviation here in the semester column that are relevant for you. The other courses that have the abbreviation SS will be offered in the, only in the spring term. So now let's see what is on offer. I suggest you start with the compulsory courses because the compulsory courses are very often required as prerequisites before you can take some of the more advanced elective courses. So let's for example check the course in advanced econometrics. If you click on the name of the course you will recall a website with some additional information. If you are directed to a website that is in the Czech language then you can simply click here on the British, British flag and you will get to the English version of that website. And as you can see, the website includes a pretty detailed information about the course. The first thing to check is perhaps the language of instruction, which is English, and that's, that's fine then. Most of our courses are offered in English, but there are some exceptions, uh, and of course that might be then impossible to take uh, in case that you are following a English-speaking program. If you scroll down, you will get some brief information about the contents of the course, then also the, t the type of grading, the literature that is used in the course, and then here at the very bottom, the list of topics that are covered in the individual lectures. So this syllabus should give you pretty decent uh, insight into what the course offers, and you can make your choice whether this is a course you are interested in or not. So let's say that I think that advanced econometrics could be a course to follow for me in the upcoming term. So what I can do is that I can just copy it to make a note for the future, copy the name, and especially the code. The code is unique and it will help us to find the course when we get to the student registration system. And so let me just make a note here that this was one of the courses I wanted to take. Now I will go back one more time and now I will follow all, all, the, uh, all the courses that are listed here in the compulsory section and then courses here at the bottom. You can see that there is a wide range of elective courses that you, that you, can, that you can pick from. Normally we suggest that students should study something between 30 and 36 credits in a term which corresponds to approximately five to six courses. Nevertheless, we give you the possibility to deregister or cancel your enrollment in the first weeks of teaching. And therefore, what you may wish to do is to enroll in more than six, maybe seven or eight courses, attend the first lectures and seminars, and then based on how the course feels after experiencing these first lectures and seminars, cancel your registration in two or three courses.
After you have gone through the list of courses that we offer and you made a choice about which courses you want to take, the last step is to enroll in these courses in the student information system. For that, you will need to log in the student information system, find the appropriate module and make your registration there. There are two ways how to access the student information system. First, on the website of the program description, you can go here to the right hand side panel and click on the hyperlink that it, with the abbreviation SIS, the Student Information System. And you will get to the website like this. At the very top of, your, of the website, you will fill in your login, that is to say your personal number from the email that you received from us and the password that you got uh, at the end of the step one when you have changed your temporary password for the permanent one. Another possibility is simply use the website address is.suni.cz slash studium slash eng English. Yeah? So again, let me copy this. and paste it to the new tab of the browser and I get to the same website. Yeah? If you are directed to the Czech version of the website then again or here at the top right hand corner you click on the British flag and you get you switch this website to the English version. After you fill in your login and password you click on the login button here and you will get to the website that looks something like this. right? It will have the upper banner and then there will be a number of icons showing the different functions the student information system has. So the first thing to check is the upper uh, right hand corner that includes a couple of useful icons. The first one is again the British flag so let's switch to the English version, then this lock is um, an icon to log out from the system. So if you are using a public computer or a computer in our computer lab in the school, it is important that you log out after you are done with your registration. And finally, uh, there is another, other, another icon uh, that looks like a small house that brings you back to the initial screen whatever you click on. So that's a very good homing button, so to speak, that brings you back to the initial screen. Now the part that is going to be relevant for your registration of courses is this part, subjects and schedule registration. So click on this and you will get to this website that has this green bar at the top that we will use to register your courses uh, for, for the upcoming term. First, click on the enrollment and in brackets study plan. This will give you an offer of courses that you are most likely going to, uh, go, going to uh, take. You know? Let us say that the preceding step uh, yielded a list of three courses that I want to take. I want to take banking, I want to take advanced econometrics, and I want to take introductory econometrics. And I have copied I have copied these names from the website that I have used to check their contents. So let us start with registering in the course of banking. So banking is an advanced uh, is a, a compulsory course in the master in economics and finance and so it is listed here as one of the required courses at the top part of the screen. Registering is really really easy. You simply click on this radio button next to the course name and the code. You scroll down and you click at enroll. If the course has different seminar groups, that is to say the entire uh, group of students 
attends the lectures but then they are split to several groups for the seminars you need to uh, specify which seminar group you are interested in but that is not the case for the course in in banking and as you can see now the banking is ticked for us that means that we have registered the course and um, we, we have it in our schedule now let us proceed with the course in advanced econometrics here so again this is a compulsory course so it will be listed at the very top and indeed it is here right advanced econometrics again I do the same I click at the radio button I scroll down I click at enroll but now the advanced econometrics is a course that has one lecture that takes place on Wednesdays between 2 p.m. and 3.20 p.m. but it has several seminars and I can choose which of the seminar groups I want to join here I can see oops, here in the second column I can see which seminar groups are, st are still free so I'm in the second seminar group that is scheduled for Tuesdays between 2 p.m. and 3.20 p.m. is already full so I cannot register for that however the other two are still available so let me maybe pick the group that has the seminars on Tuesdays between 3.30 and 4.50 uh, so I click, at, uh, I click here and again I press enroll and this completes the process and now the course in advanced econometrics will also be ticked here green indicating that I am I am registered for the course finally let me register for the course of introductory econometrics that is an elective course and so it will not be listed at the top if I want to make it very quick what I can do is that I can copy its code and I can search for the code so I press Control F I paste and here it, here it comes introductory econometrics right of course I can also search for it just going through the list again I press the radio button and I press enroll I choose the group I have two options either on Thursday from 3.30 or on Thursday from 5 p.m. so let's say that I prefer the later option I click at enroll and I'm done with my registration for in, uh, introductory econometrics yeah. now let's say that I'm done with the process of course as already mentioned you should register to more than three courses typically you will be registered registering to something between let's say five and nine ten courses uh, but then when you are done you should go here at the top uh, bar again and click at the enrolled and this will kind of give you an overview of the courses that you have successfully registered in right this is the list what you can do here is that by clicking at this and that icon you can either uh, change the registration so let's say that we have changed our mind and we want to be uh, in the other seminar group in uh, intermediate econ uh, or intermediate econometrics so I click here I click at change and the seminar group has been has been changed or you can actually cancel the registration altogether so let's say that we have changed our mind and uh, we do, do not want to study banking in the first year we will wait with that till the second year so we can click here at the other icon there is a pop-up window that asks us whether we are indeed sure that we want to deregister we press OK and now we are only registered in the other two remaining courses now what is also useful is to see how your registered courses look in the weekly schedule for that you can go to the second uh, uh, green bar at the top here that's a schedule you can click on it and you will see how the courses actually line up in your week I have some my my normal courses here so just ignore these but the advanced econometrics and the introductory econometrics that we kept registered in will be placed in these days so you can you can easily see whether there are any collisions and whether maybe by accident you have registered into courses 
where the lectures are often uh, are offered at the same time of the week, which obviously would not be advisable. So let me go back and let me show you one more thing. The enrollment study plan is useful for uh, enrolling in courses that are core or compulsory and the most common electives. However, if you want to uh, take or if you want to enroll in some of the optional courses that you can take at any part of Charles University, it is better to use the third um, option, that is to say the enroll enrollment my own. So let's click on it and this will allow us to search for courses based on their uh, on their name or on their code. So let us say that I have looked up uh, the a list of optional courses that I can pick from and I would like to take a language course check as a foreign language that has a code JLB 100. So let me copy this and go back to this website and let me search for that course. So I have a few options here what to search for. The relevant part is the subject code. Right, so let me click here on the code, let me paste the code, let me search for that course and indeed it is here and it's already ticked for me so the radio button, button is already already ticked so I can simply press enroll. I will pick the group I want to join so let me just take this one and I enroll in the course. Right, And then when I go back here to the enrolled I will see the check is a foreign language re uh, registered here. And that's it. So it's actually quite simple after you penetrate how to, how to get into this website. Um, before you finish, please do not forget to go again back up here and click on the log off button to make sure that nobody is uh, kind of using the computer after you, uh, you have used it and you have registered for the courses. So let's log off. I thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to see you in the classes.